There is a problem with non-compliant cladding in Queensland, uh, otherwise the government wouldn't be doing so much to try and address uh, responsibility and, and pin liability on those that are involved in the supply of dodgy building products, for want of a better term. Uh, if there wasn't a problem, then there wouldn't be all of this concern across every single state and territory in Australia. It really depends upon um, uh, the, the particular defect that exists, the risk that it presents, and it really requires a grounded reality in how long litigation can take to make somebody else responsible. It's, it's, it's not an episode of law and order um, that will be over within 45 minutes so that you can go to bed at a reasonable period of time. Litigation takes years and that's why it's important to take specialist advice from those in the fire safety industry uh, about the seriousness of that risk, take um, informed advice on how much it's going to cost and what will be required and then make a hard decision up front once you've collected all the evidence that you might need to bring a claim. If a body corporate becomes aware of non-compliant cladding on their building, the first thing that they're required to do is face the reality of a situation that they're ultimately responsible for that cladding. They may have someone else to blame, but that doesn't deter that they've got the primary duty under the legislation to keep that building and to keep the common property in good condition. And that doesn't just mean that it's clear and it's clean and it presents well, it means that it's got to be defect free. They've got to live up to their responsibility as the occupier of that building to keep it in a fire safety state. Whether they've got somebody that they can seek compensation from is another matter entirely. If rectification is required, uh, the question is who's gonna pay for it? Everyone looks for somebody else to pay for what's fundamentally their problem. But at the first instance, a body corporate may have to be prepared to pay for the rectification cost, particularly if that's necessary to mitigate a very serious fire safety risk. Uh, people should not rely upon the legal system to present an overnight uh, solution to these problems. A body corporate needs to be prepared to discharge its duty to maintain the building in safe condition and then seek compensation later.